After a long beta update drought, Apple has finally released iOS 17.5 Beta 1 to register developers and soon to public beta testers. Now, along with this iOS release, Apple also released the first beta for iPadOS 17.5, WatchOS 10.5, macOS 14.5, tvOS and HomePodOS 17.5, and VisionOS 1.2 for the Apple Vision Pro. But of course, in this video, we're talking all about iOS 17. 17.5 beta 1. So starting off with the size of this update, since we did come from a final release, which was 17.4.1 to a beta, the size is going to show up as a large amount. So almost 6.5 gigabytes on my 15 Pro Max. And I would expect a large update no matter what version you're on if you're coming from a final release. So that's the size there. Let's go ahead and check out the build number for this new update. So here's our iOS version 21F5048F. So we do have an F at the end of the build number, which indicates we do have a few betas to go. Of course, this is the first beta, so that is expected. Now we did also get an update to the modem firmware down here. So on iOS 17.4.1, that modem version was 1.55.04 for the iPhone 15 series. It is now 1.60. 0 .00, so a nice jump there. All right, so now what's new here in iOS 17.5 beta 1? And the first thing you're looking at it right now, we have a change to the podcast widget. So now we have the feature back that first made an appearance in iOS 17.4 in the beta stages, but was removed in the final release. And that is that the podcast widget changes color based on the dynamic color of the cover art for that specific show. So this one is red, but maybe if I go in here and play a podcast with a blue cover art, you can see that the color of the widget changes very similar to what we have with the Apple Music widget. Also, if we head into our settings and then go down to privacy and security and then scroll down under focus, we have pass keys access for web browsers at the bottom and we have a new glyph icon next to that. So before on 17.4.1, there was no glyph icon. It was just the text that said pass keys access, but now we have the gray and white glyph icon, but nothing has changed when you go inside of there. Now, iOS 17.5 beta one also includes a big update if you are in the EU. So now starting with this update, you're going to be able to download applications straight from websites without having to go through the app store or an alternative app store. And this was actually announced a few weeks back by Apple, but they didn't specify whether this would be an iOS 17.5 or a later software version. But we have now learned that this is included with 17.5. And keep in mind, this is likely going to be pretty limited, at least from the start, because developers have to have specific criteria, they have to meet specific criteria to be able to enable downloading from their website. So they have to be, you know, a developer for two years consecutively. And also they have to have an app with with more than a million installs on iOS in the EU in the previous year. So you had to have a million installs on your app in 2023 in order to even allow people to download your app from your website. But I would expect a lot of these big companies to start offering their applications to download from their website because A, it's gonna bring more traffic to their website and it's going to allow them to capture more information from a user. And also B, they don't have to pay any commission to Apple. Now they are going to have to pay a 50 cent technology fee to Apple. So they're still gonna have to pay them in some way, but they're not gonna have to pay the traditional commission that they normally pay when you know, having users download their application from the App Store or even a third party alternative store. So we'll see how that plays out. But that is something new and pretty important actually for those in the EU. Now, unfortunately, this update does not bring back the dynamic island animation for the stopwatch. So if you go into your clock and then go into stopwatch, this had a dynamic island animation, it would actually show the amount of time on the stopwatch in the dynamic island in a previous iOS 17.4 beta, but that for some reason was axed and was never introduced with 17.4 and it's still not back with 17.5. So who knows what Apple's doing there. Oh, and I also wanted to show you guys this bug in 17.5 beta one. So if you go into your settings and battery, you can see that where it used to say charging optimization, it just says charging title. So all the placeholder text is still here under this section and battery for charging optimization. And even when you go inside of there, you can see that all these top three options still have the placeholder 
older text instead of the text that they're supposed to have over here on the left. And for some reason, Apple has not updated the release notes page to include iOS 17.5 beta one. So hopefully they do get that out soon. And once they do, I will leave that linked down in the description below. Now, as far as the performance goes, performance feels fine so far. I mean, it's too early to tell if there's a difference from 17.4.1 to 17.5. I wouldn't expect anything major, but I did go ahead and run a Geekbench test and you can see we scored a 2893 on the single core and a 7124 on the multi core. Now, if we compare that to 17.4.1, you can see it is a good bit lower than the scores from 17.4.1, but that was my first run and it was shortly after installing the updates. So of course, like always, I will run this test back later on in the week and report back to you guys in the Apple Weekly episode coming on Saturday if performance has gotten any better. And then the same thing goes with battery life on 17.5 beta one. So I've not been able to tell any difference in battery life because it is so early. You guys will have to tell me how much battery I've lost since the beginning of this video, but it doesn't seem like battery is really any different from 17.4.1, which is a good sign since we are on a first beta. But again, I will give you guys a follow up on the battery life in that Apple Weekly episode on Saturday. All right, so now let's talk about what to expect next from Apple. So keep in mind, this is the first beta release from Apple in five weeks. That is, you know, unheard of around this time. So five weeks without a beta, and it's also four weeks after a whole month after the big iOS 17.4 update was released. Now we did get 17.4.1 after that, but still it has been a quite a long time since we got a beta release and it's going to be a long time between 17.4 and 17.5. But with that being said, I would expect to be on a two week release schedule, at least for beta one through beta two. Usually after the second beta, we go back to a weekly schedule, but for beta two, I would not expect to see that until likely April 16th or sometime on the week of April 15th. That's when we should see iOS 17.5 beta two. And then the final release for iOS 17.5, I would expect that at some point in May. And at this point, it looks like we might get the software release around the same time as the new iPads release. So likely the same week that the new iPad Pro and iPad Air come is going to be when we see 17.5 release to the public. So that's about it. That is iOS 17.5 beta one, a relatively minor update, but that's expected for a 0.5 release. That's how it's been historically for every previous iOS version. So I was not expecting anything major and that's exactly what we got here. So no surprises with 17.5 beta one. Hopefully we do see some more features added in the future betas. I'm sure we will because we have seen and we've heard at least rumor wise that there are going to be some new software features for the new iPad pros. So hopefully we see something, you know, a leak in the code that tells us what those new software features are. Of course, we will learn about that when the new iPads get announced as well, hopefully later this month. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. Also, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future iOS beta software updates and of course, final release update videos as well. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.